If you're interested in starting your own gaming channel from scratch, then you've come to the right place. Today we're going to cover all of the basics from recording your gameplay footage and audio to syncing these together in the edit. The first thing you're going to need is the right tools, and I'm going to tell you about a wide variety of different ones that you can use for all of the different stages of creating your own gaming videos, but the one that ties it all together is our free video editing software, HitFill. This is where the magic is really going to happen and your videos are going to come to life, so if you're interested, you can download it in the description. So first up, you're going to need to be able to record your game. I'm going to be recording on PC, but the rest of the advice in this video will be applicable to console games as well. So I'm going to be using OBS, which is a free piece of software that lets you record and stream audio and video content. Now you'll see that OBS is a blank screen when you open it and this is because you need to tell it what you want it to capture. To do this you can just click the little plus icon on the sources window and choose game capture. Here you can choose what specific window you want to record and also if you want to see the mouse or not. The main settings that you're going to need to focus on are the resolution and the frame rate here in the video section. I'm gonna set my resolution to 1920 by 1080 and my frame rate to 60. 1920 by 1080 is full HD and if you don't have a 4K monitor, there isn't any point setting your resolution any higher than this. I'm gonna change the recording format to MP4 just because this is a much more compatible file format with HitFilm, but if you're worried that your computer might crash partway through a recording and you'll lose it, you can use MKV files. To change this into a file type that HitFilm can work with, just head into the advanced settings and check the automatically remux to MP4 setting. Now onto audio, it's very important that you have the best quality possible here because especially if you're not having a face cam, this is going to be the only way that your audience can connect with you. If you have a camera or webcam that you're going to be recording with, then you'll have audio built in and while it might be optimal to use a separate microphone for audio quality, the point here is to work with what we've got. So make sure that you're not too close or far away from your camera and try to record in a small and quiet environment to reduce as much background noise as possible. And if you're running into issues with echoes, then you can use blankets and pillows to avoid this. If you do have separate audio equipment, then you can use Audacity to record in. This is a great free piece of software for audio recording and editing. So when it opens, the first thing you're going to need to do is go into your preferences and make sure that you've set the input to your microphone. Now you can click the record button and then start playing your game. If you also have a camera that you want to use, you can easily sync up the audio from Audacity with the video in your camera when you import them into HitFilm. Just highlight both the audio file and the video file and choose merge audio slash video and this will sync them up perfectly for you. Once you're finished recording your audio then Audacity gives you loads of different options to clean it up and get the best quality possible for your video. So let's go through a few essentials starting with noise reduction. This can help lessen any background noise if you weren't able to film in a completely quiet room. Start by finding a part of your recording where you are not speaking and select it. Now you can go into the effects tab and go to noise removal and repair and choose noise reduction. Here you can click the get noise profile button and this will analyze the section of your audio that you selected to tell apart the parts of the audio that you want to keep from the stuff that you want to remove. Now you can select the entire audio clip and go back into the same settings and adjust to the amount of noise that you need to remove. Less is more on this step, so don't crank it up the whole way otherwise your audio won't sound right. Another really useful effect on Audacity is the compressor effect. This will just even out the volume of your recording so any quieter parts are boosted and any louder parts are lowered. Just save your viewers from getting their eardrums blown out when you get absolutely rinsed. Ah, where'd it go? go to effects, volume and compression and choose the compressor. Set the threshold value based on where the lower parts of your audio are hitting. We want to include these bits in the compression. The ratio value sets how severely your audio will be compressed. The higher the number, the closer the quiet and loud parts will become. Now Audacity is a great option if you want to record your voiceover simultaneously while you're playing your game and get in the moment reactions. But if you want to record your voiceover afterwards, you can do this straight into HitFilm. Once you have your footage ready on the timeline, click the new button in the media panel and select voiceover. This will open a new window where you can select your microphone input. The dots to the side of the microphone icon will give you an indication of the audio levels so you can make sure you're not too loud or quiet and then adjust the input volume as needed. Unless you're wearing headphones, make sure to check the mute playback button so that you don't hear the gameplay audio in your voiceover. Then you can click record and speak over your video in real time to create a voiceover. 
A common question that we get asked is, how do I sync up my voiceover or face cam with my gameplay footage? Well, this is actually done during the recording. What you're gonna need to do is find an action in the gameplay that you can sync your voice to. A good thing to use for this is navigating the main menu. So start recording on both your game and audio and then say the words syncing one, two, three. One, two, three. And every time you say a number, move up or down the menu. And then you can just continue your gameplay as normal. Now, when you have your two files in HitFilm and you drag them both out onto the timeline, you can line up your speech and movement at this point of the video. And then the rest of it will be perfectly in sync. So to get started, drag your gameplay footage onto the timeline and drag your face cam footage above it. Now at this point, you'll only be able to see your face cam because this fills the whole screen. So let's turn this into a little window in the corner so you can see both. You can do this really easily using the picture in picture effect available in HitFilm Creator and Pro. When you add this effect, it will automatically resize your face cam into the bottom left corner of the screen. You can change the location as well as the size and distance from the edge of the screen with these sliders. If you're in the free version of HitFilm, you can still do this kind of effect by heading into the controls panel and using the scale and position tools to make your video much smaller and then move it to the corner of the screen. Now that you have your recorded gameplay and voiceover all synced up on the timeline, you are ready to cut it up into gaming videos. If you find yourself stuck at any point during the process, don't forget about the Learn panel. Here you can find really quick built-in tutorials to help you along your way. We also have hundreds here over on the YouTube channel. In the next video, we'll talk about different ways to stylize your gaming videos, including titles and graphics and more to make your videos stand out. Just a quick reminder that you can download our free video editor, HitFilm, by heading over to the first link in the description. And make sure you subscribe if you don't wanna miss out on part two.